Welcome to Offsite Dirt. My name is Mark Willie, and we are going to be covering marketplace today. It's one of my favorite subjects. We have a wonderful guest in front of us. Get ready. Put those tray tables up. Put those seats in the full upright position because we're going to be going to a world that you're going to want to hear more about. And I'm joined with Audrey Grubessing. I love that. Yes, we're talking graphics and visuals and the AEC industry. And we have Eric Scott with Visualize Graphics Inc. Welcome, Scott or Eric. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. Thank you all for having me. So I'm going to give you a little background on, on Eric. Um, with over two decades in the EAE, the EAC industry, Eric has managed multitudes of projects all in phases of architecture from schematic and conceptual design to construction drawings. In 2008, he founded Viz, which is an amazing company that creates CGI for the AEC industry. His passion for design, technology, and building science makes him valuable asset to any project, communication, architecture, construction, and building material products before they are built. This is the crazy thing. Now, I used to live in Denver, Colorado. Um, I recently moved about two years ago to Savannah, Georgia, and Eric is a Colorado native. Right there, that never happened. So Eric, tell us a little bit more about yourself and your company briefly so that we can walk through the visualization of storytelling. Well, thank you so much for the introduction. And uh, yes, not many of us around anymore, the natives of Colorado, but... Uh, Love Colorado, love our home. Uh, my team here is built on the front range of Colorado, and uh, we just absolutely love the outdoors, but um, really what brings our passion together is, is the being in the AEC industry, architecture, engineering, construction, and how we visualize those things to help folks understand what's, what's behind the walls and educate them on processes building science and you know why that's so important for our industry. So uh, Viz is about 16 years old now, uh, started really just in real estate uh, renderings and development. So pre-selling real estate, building it before it's built, uh, using animations, virtual tours, renderings to help folks buy into a lifestyle without it being built. And then over the years, we've really realized that that our, our backgrounds and our expertise in construction and architecture allowed us to now bring forward building science and new framing technologies, new products, um, and then you know larger brands like Owens Corning Insulation and Roofing, and you know how and why what's behind the walls is so important to your home, how it breathes, how it lives and making those products a, a lifestyle decision rather than you know, upgrading the $15,000 countertop. Put $3,500 in upgrades to your insulation. It'll go a long way. So we, we made it sexy, so to speak, by bringing out that information and allowing people to interact with it and create sort of a customer experience. You are a wizard. Uh, the team is great. Uh, I knew your work before I knew who you were. Um, and that's really kind of awesome in our industry when you see things and then later find out, oh, that's, that's where that's it came true. from. Yeah. And uh, we're not used to um, being able to convey messages so well um when there's a thousand questions and five thousand choices to be made and the art form of visual storytelling allows people that that don't have that visual background to fall back on to say oh i get it and so you've been able to take concepts um that are maybe a little bit uh, unfamiliar uh, and create them in a welcoming manner. So visual storytelling, right, is what you're doing. And, and you do that through animation and through visual work. And you're able to showcase the benefits, the designs, 
the process, the systems of construction. So take it, take us through what that's like and, uh, and go back the curtains for us. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, for the past 20 years, uh, CGI, computer generated imagery, has really been a mainstay, I think, for, for architecture. And and I think folks are, are used to seeing that. They're used to experiencing, you know, what an exterior looks like or what a finish looks like, the flooring, the lighting, you know, the furniture, the equipment. How does that all come together? And, you know, I think peeling back the layers, so to speak, on a 3D model and sort of seeing what makes up a wall system uh, makes up a floor system, ultimately what makes up a home from a building envelope, a design aspect, really has, I think, opened the eyes of our peers. And it's like, why are we communicating with black and white 2D details when we should be really sort of seeing that detail in a three-dimensional uh, realm and, and being able to all come together and make a decision whether or not this layer makes sense over that layer, you know? Uh, so we've, we've done hundreds of graphics for Home Innovations, um, who is part of the Building America programs that, that you know, ultimately becomes public domain, uh, but just in simple terms, you know, how, how does a, you know, a two by six wall work over a two by four wall in whatever region climate zone it is. Um, and, and how can we better, you know, make those processes uh, easier for folks to understand and then help educate sort of our young ones about, you know, how to get into construction and, and how technology and construction sort of tie together. So being able to tell those stories and just amongst ourselves, you know, for forever, we would design in 2D. And so I would take 2D roof plans home and create them in 3D and bring them into the principals the next day and say, guys, if we literally just stretch this wall two feet out, this whole roof planes out and saves thousands of dollars. So it was that aha moment. And I think that's what continues to drive me and biz is providing those aha moments that get people on board, get your stakeholders, investors, and ultimately, uh, you know, customers to buy into why sustainability, green, you know, all of these things are important. And I think that's what we're trying to now drive into offsite construction is what are all the pitfalls? What are all the hangups and, and things that we have uh, when we're explaining these complex designs and, and complex assemblies. Uh, and so instead of, you know, really just talking about it all the time, let's, let's show you and let's, let's get you bought in and, and take it to the next level. It's so wonderful because it's such a unique way to tell a story, not to mention, I love that you're creating legacy. Because what you're doing is you're telling a story where we're visual creatures. It's mm -hmm. always easy for us mm -hmm. to learn and see, right? And with technology and video and how people are reading less and less, and it just kind of simplifies the system for understanding. So through this process, you started in one area. Now you're really kind of moving in, which we love is the offsite industry, um, the AEC industry, um, industrialized construction, because it helps us. Because modular construction, offsite construction, these, these forms of construction have been around for a really long time. But now they're becoming more popular, as we're seeing, because we have more labor force um, issues. We're having more issues with landfills. We're just having such an impact in construction. So when you are, you know, when you have a client that comes to you with a um, really needing a solution, can you kind of walk us through how you kind of map this out? How does it work when I'm a client coming to you? I have a modular factory. I want to know how our assembly line works with our team. Is that something that you can provide? Do you do customization and do personalization within your framework? 
Yeah, absolutely. I think first and foremost is we sort of become experts in your product really fast. Um, you know, being in architecture, but then, you know, diving into HVAC, for example, and that's one big area that we work in a lot just with our cutaway renderings is something you don't see every day or touch. And so what does that look like? And, you know, we've stared at schematics, mechanical, you know, MEP schematics for our entire careers, but now taking that schematic and putting it into something that is comprehensible and something that you can digest is we dive in and we become experts on your product and be it drawings, be it, you know, meeting with your team to, you know, extract all of that information and data that they know day in and day out. And then putting that together in a script and a storyboard to then put that into a visual. So there's multiple steps, but, you know, step number one, become an expert in that. Step number two, dissect the information so that the layman can sort of understand it and grasp it. And so that's where, you know, again, getting that data and then extrapolating that into something that we can translate into a visual. And so that is kind of like a cartoon, you know, where you, where you sketch something on a bunch of pieces of paper and you use that flip book and you see the, the person moving along. Essentially, we do that at a very conceptual form and then move that through the process. Um, also using, you know, voiceover folks to read from a script to then tie all that together into one asset. I think that's a beautiful way of explaining it. And I think that really gives um, people a better understanding because pulling that information, you know, showing someone how a panel works or pulling together these this integral systems and being able to visually see it is such a big difference than actually talking about it. So it is wonderful Absolutely. to see that Viz is really, you guys have really enterprised into this whole new relationship where we're starting to get smarter about our technology. We're starting to get smarter about visualization and bringing those two together helps the team provide a better solution and understand it. Absolutely. And if you're trying to launch a product or bring a product to market that otherwise isn't built yet, you know, I mean, people want to see it. So do you have a picture? Well, no, I don't have a picture. It's all concept. Well, with CGI, we can essentially, you know, replace photography and create it in all its varieties. You know, if it comes with options, if it comes with, uh, you know, different systems, different components, well, show people that, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. And I think people will buy in if they can see it and understand it. Eric, this is this is so real in so many ways. Uh, so for years, I would produce sets. And then you have to open up the crates or the boxes, uh, get the product in. Maybe it was right. Maybe it isn't. Then everyone's on set for the lighting and the shoot. They have to be sent home. Um, there's a whole lot of coordination. So cost, time, right? This, this efficiency metrics. So you're leveraging uh, the skill set of the team at Viz, right? To, uh, to, to create a product that doesn't exist, right? To save on that photo shoot, to assist in the development aspect for the team itself. And then these allow you to, to present this um, to your client base and then that time part, right? You're doing it fast paced. Give us an example of, uh, of maybe don't name the client, but maybe focus on the solutions you delivered in this aspect. Sure. Yeah, I think, you know, like I mentioned before is, is you know, those things that are behind the walls or under the floors or in the ceilings that otherwise couldn't be uh, presented. and you know, with CGI, you know, I mean, one, there is a, a less of a carbon footprint that we can do it right here from our chair. We don't have to get on a plane and fly to your location and, you know, all the things that require, 
you know, to travel to a location just to get that photograph. So, uh, you know, we can take all the digital information right here from our seats and, and be able to extrapolate that and create visuals. Um, and just as stunning as real life photography. Um, and, you know, having more flexibility and, you know, saving the environment all at the same time. So, uh, you know, I think that's our quest of, of using CGI to our benefit. And, and, you know, in the world today that I think uh, folks are making decisions based on sustainability and things like that. So I think what you're going to start seeing as well is all e-commerce will be CGI. There will be no reason for, uh, you know, folks to photo shoot furniture, for example. You know, somebody like an Ikea, you know, everything you see on Ikea's website is all CGI. And it may not look like it. It may look like a real photograph, but it's not. It's, it's a team of illustrators in Europe that create every single piece of information and and then there's different ways to use those assets. One is, you know, the customer facing, but then how do you then use that same CGI asset to tell them how to put it together? So, I mean, if you open up an IKEA, you will get a 3D representation, albeit maybe not that great, but enough that you can understand that this stick figure is putting X, Y, and Z together to create your piece of furniture. So in one hand, it's yes, use it for marketing purposes, but then all along the way, while it's being developed is using it for educational purposes and getting folks bought into the idea. So um, we've done it for many different companies that you know launching products that they just, they don't know where to turn really. And I think folks really, they know by watching HGTV what can be done in 3D, but until they experience it or come to us and experience the process, uh, you know, they, they really don't know what they don't know until they experience it. So uh, it's an experience to go through the process and then going through that process really creates the experience for their customer. Beautiful. Eric Scott with Visual Graphics Inc. Viz. Not only are they visual storytellers, they can customize and personalize your experience and, it, and it's, it, it's environmentally happy. It's, it saves on time, money, and efficiencies. What a wonderful place to be when we can have assets that can actually help us build, have, help us see things and know and explore in a way that's so creative and is in a digital footprint instead of a carbon footprint. Although I'm gonna to have to say, Eric, next time I come out to Colorado, I still wanna meet you in person. Let's do it. Awesome. Well, there is another Marketplace Monday featuring this brilliant, ingenious and creative solution to not only offsite solution, but all productization. Make sure to contact Eric Scott at Visualization Graphics Viz. And that is a wrap on Offsite Dirt, your host, Audrey Grubesic with Mark Willie. Thank you again for being here, Eric Scott. Thanks so much for having me.